So let's call mass of the green puck as mg, which equals m, and we know that mass of the blue puck is 120% of that, so we're going to call it 120% of m, which is just 1.2m. And we're given that the initial velocity of the green puck is 10 meters per second, and we know that the initial momentum of both of them are the same, so we can sum it up in both directions, mgvig equals mb, we initial b, and if we plug in what we solve for masses, we can cancel out the m's, so we can see that velocity initial of green is 1.2 times velocity initial of b. So if we divide 1.2 from both sides, we'll get 10 divided by 1.2, which is approximately 8.33333 meters per second. So now we can sum up our momenta in the vertical direction or the y direction, which is p initial equals p final. So let's break our velocity vectors into y and x components. So since there's a 30 degree angle, the adjacent angle would be velocity final of green times cosine of 30, which is the x component. And the y component would be that times sine of 30 because this one is opposite to the angle. We can do the same for the blue puck but in the opposite direction. Notice that the x direction for the blue puck is also v final times cosine of 30, but in the opposite direction as the green one, and the y direction is final times sine of 30, but again in the opposite direction as the green one. If you think of this as a triangle using trig, you can see that the y component is just the opposite side of the angle. But since it's a vector, it doesn't matter where we put it. Now that we've broken down our velocity vectors, we can solve for the momentum in the y direction. Since neither of the pucks were moving up and down in the initial phase, we can say that the initial momentum was zero, and the final was momentum of green, which is upwards, and minus momentum of blue, because it's downwards, so we can say mg times v final g sine of 30 minus mb times v final b sine of 30. So if we add the momentum of the blue puck on both sides, we can see that the momenta of both of these pucks equal each other in the y direction. Then we can substitute our placeholder value for the masses. Once again, the m's cancel out and the sine 30 cancel out, and we can see that the final velocity of the green is 1.2 times the final velocity of the blue. Save that so we can use it later on. The problem also tells us that half of the kinetic energy is lost from the system after the collision, so we can say that kinetic energy initial equals 2 times kinetic energy final. So we can substitute in the definition, which is 1 half mass times velocity squared of both the pucks initial equals 2 times 1 half mass times final velocity squared of both of the pucks. Now we can just cancel off all of one halves and then distribute the two into the final part. So we can copy the first part down and the second part times two. Now we can plug in our values for mass of g and mass of blue as m and 1.2m. And once again we can cancel off all of the masses because we're just using m as a placeholder. And now we can plug our equation that we solved for earlier, which is 1.2 times velocity final of b equals velocity final of g. So now we only have to solve for one variable, which is velocity final of b. So let's copy the rest down. So let's distribute the squared to the two terms inside the parentheses. So 2 times 1.2 squared times v final of b squared plus 1.4 v final of b squared. Now we can factor out a v final of b squared, and we're left with 2 times 1.2 squared plus 2.4. Now we can finally isolate v final of b squared by dividing the second half of that part over to the other side, like this, and then take the square root of both the sides to get rid of the squared. Now we just plug in our values, 10 squared plus 1.2 times 8.33 squared over 2 times 1.2 squared plus 2.4, which gives us that velocity final of b is approximately 5.893 meters per second. Now that we've solved for velocity final of b, we can go back to our equation, 1.2 v final of b equals v final of g, and plug in the value for v final of b, which is 1.2 times 5.892, and we'll get that velocity final of green equals 7.071 meters per second. And here are both our answers.